And let's get started here. So I'm going to do the orthographic 10 with you. And, uh, you know, essentially we're, 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 we're doing these orthographic projects where we're looking at the three quarter view and we're, we're disseminating then what, what does that look like in the two, two dimensional shape? And so I'm going to bring this a little closer to me. Excuse me one second. All right. There we go. All right. So let's take a look at this. Um, and so what I generally do is I, I, I will define the space as best I can. So fortunately, this is giving us a grid to work from. And, um, and this is all in a grid. So I'm essentially just transposing this grid the best that I can. So I'm just going to define this shape here and count all this. All right. And I do recommend that uh, you do the same. It's a lot easier. You don't really have to think that much if you if you label everything. It takes a little bit more prep work. And uh, Joe, if I'm if I cut out or I'm off task, just let me know. All right. Thank you. We'll do, sir. All right. So then I'm going to go to this corner here. So really, what I'm doing right now is I'm finding these corners, and then I'm just following this. At this is at all at 30 degree angles. So an isometric view, which is what this is, isometric. Uh, they're all at, so if you would take a pencil here and you would measure this angle, they're all going to be at 30 degrees. I, I, I will be doing some perspective drawing uh, later in the semester, technical. And so the cool thing about that, these grids is, is I can literally measure off of that. As it goes back, everything stays the same. So uh, you can, if you're really good, and adapt, just measure all the things you need off this three-quarter view drawing. All right, so because all that information is there. But it's, a, it's very hard for, for a lot of people to see that. So that's what we're working on here. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. So here's my A. Let's go ahead and I, I, it's kind of, uh, we're going to call this, so let me, let me erase this. This is going to be our front view here. All right, so my front view. And this would be my, and I, I, I've, it's decided that this is already going to be my left view because I'm, I'm looking at that A and there's the A down here. So uh, let me bring this up a little bit. Okay. So this is going to be my left. And then obviously the top. So let's go ahead and just start with the, um, you know, it'd actually be easier. I don't, have, uh, let's start with the, this left view here. And so I, I can count these over one, two, three. And the nice thing is most of these are symmetrical. Six, is that right? Uh, six, seven. Okay. Seven. Yeah. It goes back there. All right. So then now let's read uh, such profile views of the object isometric view. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're going to deduce that we're going to scale this up. So essentially what we're going to be doing, and it doesn't say, is we're going to, we're going to draw this one to two scale. So we're going, to, we're, going to, we're going to make this a little bigger. So every one cube here, because there's seven over, and we've got 14. So essentially what we're doing is this. All right, so... It's going to double the size, but that's okay. So uh, let's go ahead and start on this. So I've got a cube. I know that, uh, let's just start with this face of two. So that's pretty straightforward. So it's going to look something like this. And then while I'm there and I got this vertical, let's do six at the same time. And then, um, so let's draw that. We'll draw that and we'll close it up. So that's for sure. But then if I look a little bit more carefully, I realize that there's this flat plane here. And so this actually, I've got to draw this line. I don't know if it's curved. So I will just then go ahead. I've got the breaks here. I'm not going to be drawing a break there. I'm just going to draw across here and all the way across. And I'll close these off. So I've got that, that base down. Now let's go ahead. I need to build this column coming up here. I wouldn't actually see anything behind it. So I'm just going to see this face coming up here. 
and over here. So it goes all the way to the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's great. So I'll just go ahead and make these. So I'm gonna draw four vertical lines. 